Hey kings and queens, thank you for tuning into my video. As you can tell from the title up above, it is going to be a first impressions on the Boobs for Queens breastplate. Now I purchased mine from dragsupplies.com. I'll post the link down below. But it's originally from boobsforqueens.com. It's a silicone breastplate that drag queens slash female impersonators use to create a beautiful, flawless, realistic um, cleavage and that we can wear dresses that show like it looks like we have boobs. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how much it costs. So I paid a hundred and uh, I paid sorry I paid eight hundred and seventy dollars Canadian. Now it does advertise for six fifty US, but because of our conversions and so forth and shipping, it cost me eight seventy. It's quite a bit um, steep for a unit that doesn't have much customization to it. Um, it does limit you to what you can and can't wear. I'll show you the shape of it and I'll let you guys know what it what I'm even talking about because if you guys don't know it has a unique shape that you have to wear specific types of outfits and jewelry pieces with. Um, I also paid fifty dollars fifty dollars and twenty cents for custom fees. So if we're gonna round it up, it's over $900 that I paid for this unit. And you know, I've wanted one for such a long time and I'm actually very happy that I got one. So I had to have one, I just had to have one. So I'm gonna show you what I got in the box. So I got the box and it was in a pink tissue paper, which I think is really cute. And it had a lot of the plastic popcorn bubbles or whatever you wanna call it to help protect its shape and it was extremely, extremely lightweight. So this is, so instructions, Boots for Queens Care and Instructions came with the uh, product. I'll read it to you really quickly. It says, Boots for Queens Care and Instructions. Boots for Queens are made from a special blend of silicone that is sticky to the touch. This stickiness allows the surface to be powdered with loose powder to help match Boots for Queens with your own skin tone, which is great. Uh, you can alter the neckline for more an exact fit by removing the velcro and cutting the silicone. Take care not to remove too much. Use a needle and heavy thread to reattach the velcro by stitching it through the fabric backing. You can wear scarves, large necklaces, and or design costumes to hide the neckline. Uh, the surface of the can be cleaned with makeup remover wipes, soap, and water. Just when dry, let the surf. The surface will regain its stickiness and allow you to reapply loose face powder. Do not puncture, fold, tear, or smash the boobs for queens. This will cause permanent damage. Thank you for that. People do need to know. And with my dragon nails, I'll make sure not to puncture it, but no guarantees. <laughs> Alright. And also, the Drags, Drag Supply sent me a card as well. Uh, dear Jade London, enjoy your boobs for queens. Michael at uh, Drag Supplies. Thank you so much, Michael. It came in really, really quickly. I ordered it about a week ago, and I was so surprised that it even came in the mail. I was going to do a whole opening and unboxing and surprise for you, but I wasn't even sure what it was. So thank you for the packaging. All right, drum roll. Here is the boobs for queens. It also came in this uh, Ziploc plastic bag, which is nice. Throw that on the floor. Alright. So that's what it looks like there. There's the Velcro. It's pretty heavy duty Velcro and I just hope my hair doesn't get caught in it. And there's the backing there. So it has a really great weight. It's 2.6 pounds. It comes in fair comes in suntan, which is one that I got. It comes in caramel as well as chocolate. So it does have a wide variety um, when it comes to skin tones. And that's a good thing. And again, because it has that stickiness to it, you can always add face powder to help match it up. I'll be doing a little bit of contouring, a little bit of highlighting, just to make it a little more uh, glowy than, than matte like it is now. And it comes in small and medium. And I think boobsforqueens.com has them for plus size ladies as well. They have these jugs, which is ginormous. The I got the small. Now the small, you have to be from nipple all the way around, has to be 40, 39 inches or less. 
So because I'm about like 37, 36 all the way around, I had to get the small. Let me just try to match up the Velcro there. And um, it feels really, really good. I like the weight of it. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I don't have a shirt on so you can see kind of the color match for it. I feel that it has a little bit more of a salmon-y like undertone. I'm more of a yellow, orange base undertone. So it's, it's going to be good. It squeezes really, really nicely, <laughs> to be honest. Now, one of the things that I've seen in a few videos um, and pictures, uh, it, I'm a dancer, and when I dance on stage, things kind of fly all over the place. So I really have to make sure I wear outfits that um, will actually hold it down, because if not, you're gonna see a lot of this which isn't cute, but you definitely have to make sure you're wearing outfits to, to cover it and to actually hold it in place. I don't know if there's a way I can make it stick. Maybe medical tape. We'll see. Or double-sided tape, just on the underlining there. Yay! Motorboat! <laughs> so these are the boobs for cleans that I got, and I, you know, I'm quite happy with them, and there's, you know, you gotta make sure not to scratch them or anything, and, and it's, I can't, I can't wait to put some powder on these things because it's quite sticky. It's a little hairs and little dust and and so forth. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like without my shirt on, necklace, a dress, and all that stuff so you guys can actually see um, what it looks like. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. I'm going to change. You'll see me soon. All right. So, so now it's on my boobs. And I mean, it feels it's it's really, really, really lightweight. lightweight. It, it doesn't, doesn't feel like anything, anything at all. And that's what it looks like. like. I like, I like how, how there's a little, little bit of a nipple, nipple but not protruding nipple. nipple. They, they don't stick out like, like it's winter time, time and you're wearing nothing but a bathing suit. But and I, I like the coloration of it as, as well. The color is pretty good. It has a little bit of a pinky tone. I'm still very yellow, but I'm gonna put a little powder on it. It'll be fine. I'll, I'll show, show you the back. back. So it's pretty, pretty seamless. And now, now I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put on. Some jewelry for you right, guys. guys. So I decided to put a necklace on and my bra on. And as you can see, it looks really nice. Obviously, you can't walk around just like that, just because it's quite exposed on your edges here. I'll show you the back of that. So there's your Velcro, which is pretty seamless. Your necklace, and then you have your bra. So I you know, it, this kind of a, a piece definitely limits you from what you can and can't wear. However, it does give you a great illusion when you have customized costumes to best fit around this. And I mean, if I'm going to pay over $900, best believe I'm going to make costumes to help cover what needs to be covered. So a thicker strap, something more haltered um, to cover the bottom band. The bottom of the cleavage looks amazing as well. That little gap there, it's the Kim K gap. Um, but that's what it looks like. Sorry, there's hair all over that. That's the side. Feels really nice and comfortable. My only negativity towards the boobs, and I've seen this in several photos and when people perform with them, the only negative thing, it's not big deal, is that there's a little bit of a hollow um, air pocket here from where my chest is and where the chest plate is. Now I know these aren't custom to make them fit everybody, so it's just probably my body versus the boobs, but I feel like if I was to dance, there's a bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, jiggling around in that area, and I don't know how to fit fix that. I just might put maybe some tissue paper or something in there just to kind of fill it out. But other than that, they feel really, really great. Now I'm gonna put on a dress just so you can kind of see the top portion of All right, what I... it looks like and if it was semi-open. So give me two seconds. All right, so here's my dress. It has a nice open top. Now if you wanna be a whore, you can open it a little bit more. If you're wearing a bra or something or some pasties, it'd be awesome to just kind of have them exposed. But that's what it looks like. I'm actually very happy. The, the underneath cleavage, like I said, is really, really nice. It kind of um, sits in a nice spot. That's what they look like shaking. <laughs> For all you pervs out there, calm down. Um, you know, the, you know, they're a little bit on the loose side. I wish they fell a little bit more 
heavy or something, but I think that's just an easy fix depending on what you wear, and I'll just make sure not to bounce too much. But that's what I think of the boots for Queens. I'll put all, all the information down below for you guys. And like I said, I'm very happy with the, the product and the construction of them. And there's a lot of knockoffs out there and you know, I've done my research and the knockoffs are knock off, knock off for a reason. And you pay the price that you pay for and they're not the best quality. So not to knock anybody down, but Boots for Queens are the original and they consistently try to put out new products out there like their skin body suits, which is really nice. And um, yeah, so let me, guys, let me know what you guys think of the product if you like them if you have them what color is best for you um, and like I said I think this color is really really nice and there you go I hope you guys enjoyed my video and thank you for watching, watching.